Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing a five minute mini session for Johannes and we're just gonna keep moving from where we left off. If you're interested in any of the previous sessions, I'll put some links in the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals for this session today and then we'll, we'll see what comes, okay? All right, so the goals are, after this incredible rebirth of my energy field, I would like you to further dive into the remaining imprisonment Take a look why I can't take it easy and shine more light on my visual blocks. You got it. Yeah, we need to find out why you need to, we need to take a chill break, Johannes. <laughs> we got to figure out what we can do to Zen you. We're going to put you in a Zen vibe. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> Imprisonment. How can we help you take it easy? And then shining light on visual blocks. Okay. I'm ready. All right, the first thing that I'm called to do is simply slow you down. You have a very weird relationship with time. I mean, I feel like my brain is like there's uh, bolts on both sides and there's weird wavelengths of energy patterns going through my head. And it's extremely, I feel it's barfable. I feel gross. I feel like I could puke a kind of dizzying. Uh, it's a bit dizzying. All right. So one thing I could tell you is that you're making some huge, amazing changes and you need to keep moving forward with progress but your energy field is quite warped and it's, it surprises me on how how do you shift your energy field this extreme it is like your, your energy field is very extreme shifts but you're doing a really good job i want you to know that but <clears throat> how do i want to put this i mean i'm going to ground you and you're kind of in a state of a uh, Deep down inside, you're struggling big time. <sighs> Almost on a panic level. <sighs> because so much shifting is going on and you can't seem to keep it steady or keep it consistent, keep it contained, keep it predictable. It's like now we're on a rocking boat in the ocean. So this comes back to that you got to take a chill pill, you know, but how do we get you to do that energetically? Because I think that at the conscious level, you're saying, okay, I do need to just chill out, but I can't seem to get enough. I wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm like doing spiritual stuff and, and I do spiritual stuff during the day. I just feel so ignited to do more spiritual things. How do I just chill out on this? And yeah, I don't even know what to make of this energy field of yours. Okay. <clears throat> Next thing. This is going to help you, all right? Um, so the next layer of what I'm looking at, this is the actual energy work here. You've got grotesque bubbling coming out. I mean, you look like a bubbled up coffee and it's actually spongy. So I could, it doesn't like I pop the bubble and it just pops, but it's kind of spongy and it's all around like the neck, shoulders, hips, like down the waist. And it's kind of balled out and lots of bubbles connected to each other and a very tight grip um, around your, uh, like around your torso region. And the color's brown, like really intense reddish brown colors. I'm relaxing this, relaxing the frequency waves in your head. I'm going to continue to get you grounded. I'm just expressing a power word here and I'm saying slow down. Power words are powerful. And it helps because sometimes your deeper essence needs an alarm clock like to say you need to do this. And it can kind of wake it up and say, I need to do this. <laughs> I'm like doing like subliminal messages, but it's, it works, okay? And it will help big time. Slow it down. But it's not just uh, slow down. It's like slow down. 
It's very specific, okay? It's not angry or anything. It's just very specific. So I'm doing this in your energy field and it's helping a lot. And it's helping to kind of circulate energy more in the heart again because it's just getting like warped. You need to go through this process. You need to because you're trying to... Um, trying to grow move beyond comprehend yourself you're trying to a lot of things but leading up to this point um you've gotten all the information that you've needed all the experiences that you've needed and now it's time for a brand new shift and and, and where you're going and what you're uh experiencing for yourself so this might feel a little bit like a wavy ocean until you start to adjust and get used to it you know, nobody just learns how to breathe underwater overnight. Like you got to adjust and get used to change in your energy field, in your energy field. This isn't something you're going to figure out in your mind. It's, it's going to be an energy feelings thing, a heart thing. Your energy field already feeling quite substantially better. And there's this, it's like a Play-Doh-y type substance. Um, the, bu the bubbles aren't there and the tight squeeze isn't there. And it's just like Play-Doh-y substance coming off right now. <sighs> Did sort of like exhaustion, exhaustion. <clears throat> <sighs> Tired. <sighs> so, um... <clears throat> I'm going to hang in here for one more minute, okay? And I'm telling your mental body, I'm saying there is nothing you are responsible for in the spirit realm today. Because you have to remember, Johannes, today is 50 billion years into the future and 50 billion years in the past and it's all times and all places. So whether you do it today or whether you do it 50 billion years from now, it doesn't matter. So stop feeling like you have to get all this stuff done today because today doesn't actually exist, you know? So explore what it's like to do nothing. Explore what it's like. I have a hard time. If I get sick, it drives me insane because I'm forced to just lay in bed and stare at the ceiling while I feel like hell and I have to just hang out with myself for hours. <laughs> It's awful. <laughs> so I know what it's like. It's a challenge. But you like a challenge. You can do it. Challenge yourself to do nothing. You don't have to do literally anything right now. And your energy field is thanking me for putting, planting these seeds. Because it's, again, balancing all of this out. And that time warp thing totally dissolved. <sighs> energy is flowing so much better actually flowing and circulating around your head so much better heart feels a lot better there's breathability because you're not being squeezed and it just feels more grounded and the essence of slow down is really it's really sinking in here so thank you so much for another beautiful experience with your soul and thank you for your willingness to share as well. I know a lot of people are enjoying um, the exploration of this, these sessions. Um, and for those of you watching, if, if any of you are interested in, in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I hope you all have a great day.